Here's a test video of this high bar 4F2C. Uh, these machines are designed to hold various size pistons. Um, it's currently fitted with the largest 4 ounce piston, but there's um, different sizes down to 18 ml. This is extremely accurate for small fills. And uh, so if you need super small fills, that's a great piston size. Um, but in this machine, we've included the four ounce piston. It's set up with power. Uh, this is a signal trigger. You can put any switch there to trigger the machine to start and to return into return position. We're fitted with a quarter inch swage lock output, half inch swage lock input. And we'll do a few accuracy tests just to review the machine. We have it set to fully open right now. And our first stroke's always going to be a tiny bit different than the second stroke. As the machine just gets settled and we're expecting about four ounces. Scale is good to point one gram, um, but this is usually good to the hundredth of the gram within a few hundreds. So eighteen point two is about what we are expecting after the first stroke. As it just settles down, it, it's been sitting for a few minutes. A few drops come in and out. So, um, so you can see that's pretty accurate. Now we'll start turning it down. So we've taken it down. Okay, we better take it down a bit more. Let's keep it down halfway. about halfway. I'm trying to get about two ounces in here. Fifty-seven is the building. So that's the second stroke. Perfect. Halfway. The larger fills are usually not a problem. So let's just get it down again, down to one ounce. A lot of turning to do to get it to one ounce, which is great because it means everywhere in between is resolution. Take it down again. Thank you.
film. It's filling over there. This is about 10% volume. I'm gonna slow this down. This is just the output speed here, and there's another micrometer over here for just the input speed. Maybe to high bars. Those two micrometers are here, and that's the volume micrometer at the back. Because of our resolution, it's slightly off. You can't get the perfect number. little bit of drops splashing out um, but we're still within 0.1 gram doing two sets of 10 strokes of four grams which is incredibly accurate for a piston this size uh, so you can imagine if you had a smaller piston in there the kind of resolution you would get but uh, this machine certainly will handle all the uh, things you need <laughs> 